Chris Dornoff. I'm part of a family partnership that we call Dornoff Dairies that involves my parents and my wife, myself, and my son and his partner. Uh, we run four dairy farms, which totals about 15 or 1600 cows, and all the calves from those four herds come and get reared in this facility. The shed was set up for a maximum of 400 calves in 12 groups of up to 35, uh, being fed automatically with uh, both milk and grain through computer controlled feeders. Previously we'd had calves reared in two or three different shearing sheds in not ideal circumstances where with a lot of calf movement required. The idea here was to put the calves in one place and us do the movement. We've situated this facility uh, away from all of the dairy farms deliberately to try and give us a bit of uh, biosecurity and also to uh, make life easier without cows chasing calves around the place. Uh, the other reason for setting it up was to try and minimise our labour requirements by putting all the calves in one group. Calves reach the shed at a maximum of 24 hours of age. Uh, they've been tube fed at birth, they get tube fed again with good colostrum when they enter the shed and their navels are dipped. So we have a fresh batch of calves arriving every day. We aim to have them weaned by 60 days and to be ramping up the grain to up to two kilos of intake by day 60. Uh, once they're weaned, they leave this property completely and go to a separate farm, go to a different runoff farm. The, a couple of mistakes we made in, in the uh, construction process. Our concrete is too slippery for the calves. We've had to actually uh, put rubber mats down when we're training them, um, just so they don't slip, they gain confidence on the concrete. We do wash the concrete every day, but it still remains slippery. Um, the other thing is that I would change the orientation of the feeders. I'd turn them around through 90 degrees so that they don't mingle on the chips just in front of the feeder. I'd prefer they mingled on the concrete and because uh, they actually create a about a metre by metre space of, that's quite mucky by the time the calves are reared, uh, right where they're waiting to go into the feeder. We, we built a, a completely freestanding system here. I like the, the fact that it is away from the dairy farms. Uh, it makes for very economical use of labour. Um, the shed we've got is big and light and airy. Uh, and with the doors open is a very pleasant environment for calves. Um, previously we'd reared calves on sheep slats and I much prefer raising them on litter. Um, it does create extra work but, um, to clean it out, but it certainly, I think it's healthier for the calves.